<clears throat> Hello, YouTubers. It's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly episode. And I've got a plethora of stuff to show you. Um, not going to open all of it up because there's just too much to stuff into the second segment of this video. But everything that you see here was acquired at my local um, monthly uh, diecast meet. So I'm so glad uh, we started this little group. Um, shout out to everyone in the group. Um, it's just great because, you know, I was able to get a ton of stuff and really not spend any money. I actually kind of I made a little bit of money, which was which was pretty awesome. So anyway, um, and that's after buying all this stuff. All right. So with the exception of one thing, I got I got a super uh, treasure hunt that escort pretty cool um this i got from my buddy shiresh who i've mentioned in several weekly videos um he is just fantastic he found a couple of these gave me one and it's kind of like if i find duplicates of one that he likes i'll end up just giving him one down the road and we'll figure it out as it goes i think he's ahead of me still by two now um so hopefully i find something for him but anyway there is that uh so thank you very much shiresh for that um i got a few loose items um these were from the same seller so i got uh this gt uh four gt in golf livery this was actually out of a multi-pack it was a 10 pack and um, i asked the guy if he would sell me just the one car um out of it and he said yeah sure I'll, I'll sell it to you and um so then later on i kind of like i was looking at it and i'm like oh it's got a white base is that a white lightning so uh, I went home. Sure enough, I do have a duplicate of this car, and this is a white lightning. I'll show you the differences um, in the second segment of the video. Back tire doesn't roll very well. But anyway, I will show you that in the second segment, kind of show you what the difference is. It's very, very subtle, but that is a white lightning. I don't know what the value of it actually is, but I will keep it now because it's a duplicate. Or not, you know, not a duplicate because it's a variation of that regular release anyhow i also got three majorettes from these were three bucks a piece um i got the sweet ferrari and we'll take a look at these these majorettes are kind of cool they're older um they got these real fat wheels on them um we'll check those out so a ferrari a porsche a lamborghini and they're just kind of interesting so i will we'll check those out in the second segment of the video um I got a couple of just weird oddball things. I'm not sure why I wanted this, but um, I got it. This is kind of cool. This culture coupe. I don't know, this is like a Maisto. Yeah, it's a Maisto Ford um, Econo van. So that's fun. Um, and then this weird uh, ambulance, which has to be like from, I met Matchbox I think released like two packs that came with a raw. Um, car and this is matchbox i actually got this because i kind of like the wheels so i don't know if i'm and it was like a dollar i think it was so i may use the wheels for something else but i'll show you that in the second segment um my buddy that van guy hooked me up with this this is a viper i didn't have i forget what it's from but it's from some weird set play set or something and this isn't in mint condition the wheels are not the windshield scratched up and stuff but um It'll be a decent little placeholder for now until I find one mint, if I ever do. Um, my buddy uh, Richard Danky hooked me up with one of these. This is a Matchbox Pontiac Vibe. If you've seen in previous episodes, I do drive a Pontiac Vibe. And um, this one's fairly close to how my car looks. I do drive a Vibe GT. Um, this one's black minus silver. Uh, but is really really cool i did already have i do already have a copy of this but it's nice to get a second one and um it's just a really cool matchbox casting that you don't see very often i think i'm only missing like one variation of it. there only was i think like three or four and one of them's like a weird like there's a bunch of graphics on it and stuff so i'm not really interested in it um but there is i think another silver one and there's a silver one with real anyway that's a cool casting and then uh chris walker was there you guys may know him night stalker customs if you guys are going to the uh la convention say hi to him um he'd probably be signing autographs i think even too anyway he's local to me so 
semi-local to me. He shows up to our local meets um, at least every other one, it seems. He shows up to it, and he just came up to me and just gave me this sticker. So thank you very much, Chris, for that. I do appreciate it. It's definitely a pleasure to uh, make your acquaintance. Um, <clears throat> so more stuff I got for the meet. Uh, let's see here. Shresh brought me this from a Hobby Lobby. I did want an example of this casting. We'll open it in the second segment of the video. So I did want to check that out. It's a 66 Volkswagen Squareback. So we'll check that out. And then this I got from my buddies SC Diecast. I got a few things from them. Uh, some of which I made some previous videos of, which was the uh, Bigfoot car, or the Bigfoot truck, and um, those Johnny Lightning Import Heat series, which I have a video of. And then there's this. I wanted this is the only one other one I wanted out of the Club V Dub series was this Beetle. Because I am I mentioned it before, I'm off collecting all the VW buses from Greenlight. There is just way too many. Way too many. And um, I just can't do it. I can't do it anymore. The Beetles I will collect if they are somewhat cool looking. If they're really like plain looking, I'm done. I have enough. So that's that. And then uh, someone had this. I think it was my buddy John uh, had this at the meet, and I just had to get it. This is a Jada, which I don't normally buy many Jada uh, Beetles, but this one looks really cool. We'll open that in the second segment of the video. Um, let's see here. I also picked up this 66 GTO Hot Wheels 100%. I think this was from my buddy Neil. Um, so that is pretty cool. Another 100%. I added 100% to the, co the collection, that Firebird, last video. So we got another one, and it's got a rubber band on it. So we're going to find out if we got away with no damage on that rubber band in the second segment. So we'll open that live action. Uh, let's see here. Gold Metal Speed Dodge Viper. Didn't have it. My buddy Brian just gave it to me. Thank you very much really appreciate it bud and then um the these next ones came from sc diecast this is the uh, union 76 uh this thing is pretty awesome looking i had to have it when i saw it this bugle uh, bugle regal uh so we're definitely gonna open up that one these are limited to i don't know 2760 so they're not that um mass produced and then uh speaking of mass produced these are but i had to get them because they're two castings i collect the 66 dodge a100 and the super van in the marvel studios first 10 years concept art series i don't really collect pop culture i just don't but they put out a bunch of castings that i like and if you're a variation collector you got to pick these up too so i picked up both of those from SC Diecast. So, thank you very much, guys. And then, lastly, but, you know, definitely not least, this is just a boatload of Johnny Lightning. And this is all from my buddy, Brian. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of it, and we're definitely not going to crack it all in the second segment of the video, but I'm just going to show you it all real quick. And then some of these will actually probably end up in 10 Car Tuesday episodes. Um, I'll do probably a couple, two or three more Johnny Lightning ones probably. Um, and these will probably show up in there. I might open up a couple of these in the second segment. You'll have to stay tuned to find out which ones. But uh, GTO, two variations of it, two different wheel variations of it. That's really neat. I don't have an example of this Johnny casting. I think if any ones that we're going to open up, I think it will be those two. Um, this is pretty neat. This is a GMC Typhoon in white. That's pretty awesome from Johnny Lightning Muscle Cars. Very cool piece. And a Dodge Viper. I don't really go after the Johnny Lightning Dodge Vipers, but eh, when I see them and they're a good price, it's hard not to pick them up. This is the Viper RT10. Pretty cool. And let's see here. Ooh, a van. This is the Dodge D150 van in the International Coca-Cola series. This one we probably will open up. I'm trying to stick it over here just because it's the only van I got. So 
maybe we'll open up that one. And then, uh, let's see here, 1969 Pontiac Firebird Convertible in the Classic Gold Series in blue. This may show up in a 10 Car Tuesday episode because I have. I definitely have over 10 Firebirds that need to get open. And here's actually two more. Um, this is also a wheel variation, 67 Firebird. So, 15. So, if you didn't know already, uh, Johnny Lightning has had releases with wheel variations that either there was a plastic version and a, what they called a real wheel version. So, not real rider, real wheel version. And uh, so, this is the two of those. Uh, maybe we'll pop open those two, too. Just kind of kind of set those aside. And then, lastly, I got four uh, VW Beetles. Um, and they're all kind of different. So I got, uh, this one is really neat. This is, uh, uh, what do they call it? The Cinco de Mayo Beetle. Comes with a car cover. Interesting, right? Giant lighting. And then um, two different Coca-Cola ones. This Coca-Cola one here, it's got Santa on it. And then this one from the Coca-Cola International Collection. Pretty cool. And then uh, just this plain Jane uh, VW Beetle. Uh, one thing that I am going after is every single variation of the Johnny Lightning Volkswagen Beetle. Gonna try to get them all. There's a lot of them. Not including the White Lightnings, because I'm not, like I said, I'm not a White Lightning collector. Occasionally I would get one just because they're, some of them do look cool. And if it's a casting that I like, it's cool to have at least one example of a White Lightning, such as this GT40, even though that's not the coolest looking because it just has a white base and a white interior but it's pretty cool and uh let's see i think that's gonna be it we're gonna go ahead and flip the camera on what's to come i got a lot of stuff coming a lot i've got a lot of kyosho coming and it's delayed right now in transit hopefully i get it soon um i don't know why exactly but uh, apparently there's been an overflow of shipment from uh, japan to the u.s through uh the Pacific Coast. And anyway, so a lot of the slower mail stuff is getting super delayed, getting processed through, and my Kyosho is delayed. Hopefully I'll get it in a week or two. And then I've got some other cool stuff coming from SC Diecast, including a couple of sealed releases of Auto World, which will be separate videos and, and such. And uh, yeah, and I've actually got three things over here to my left I'm just not going to put in this video because I just got them today. And but we're going to push them off to next week. So, got to keep her going. All right, so let's flip the camera around and let's open some of this stuff. Okay, so let's start by taking a quick peek at this uh, Ford GT in kind of pseudo golf li livery. I guess I can't call it technically golf livery because it isn't uh, licensed at all. Um, but it's golf colors, obviously. And it's a GT, Ford GT, so obviously. Anyways, this is the white lightning that I picked up at the meet. Not knowing it was a white lightning until later. Um, Should have known because it's got a white interior and a white base. And I just didn't know what the regular one looked like. And of course I got it home. And here's the regular one. Black interior, black base. So I probably got this thing at quite a steal. Um, so really cool to have the pair. So it's the only example white lightning I have of the Ford GT. Really only one I need. I do need to get the uh, Ford GT 2 pack yet. Uh, that just came out recently in Johnny Lightning. It's not all 4 GT, obviously, but it's uh, it's in Golf. It's actually Golf license, and it comes with a Mustang in Golf too. Definitely will have to pick one of those up. Here is a Ferrari. This is pretty awesome. This is a Majorette uh, Ferrari GTO. I got it for three bucks. This is the price tag that was on the bottom. This is from the same seller actually that I got the uh, um, that 4 GT from. These are just kind of weird. I remember them uh, from childhood uh, these big wide tires and stuff this one does have an opening um, rear engine bay dealy thingy um, these majorettes have suspension too quite a lot of suspension travel actually and just for weird because of the big thick tires there's the base um, it should have a scale here on the bottom 156 scale so almost 155 scale so pretty large for a Ferrari GTO. So there's the GTO. And then um, here's the Porsche. The Porsche 911. Porsche Turbo. This was also $3. I guess I can pull that tag off. Um, this one's got 
little flea bite at the corner there and whatnot, but uh, really in pretty darn good condition. Um, this one has opening doors, which function quite well. Um, not No suspension on this one as it's got a plastic base. There is no metal base on it, but it's got those weird wide, 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 wide tires. For some reason, this kind of reminds me of the video game uh, Bump and Jump. Kind of how the cars looked inside. So, shout out to uh, any of you guys who enjoy old Nintendo stuff. Uh, anyway, so then this one here is a Lamborghini Countach racing team. This one's got no suspension on it either. It doesn't have those little, like, uh, that's, it's got suspension. That's what the bottom looks like. Um, this is kind of a wild Lamborghini Countach. I did have this one already. Uh, but the one I have is like completely trashed. Um, this one is in a lot better shape. So I had to pick it up for three bucks. It's an old majorette. It's kind of cool. It's in 156 scale. Um, and you know, I love that Lamborghini Countach, so could not pass up those. All right, sticking with loose cars for just a moment. Here's that weird ambulance that's like a raw. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. I'm probably just going to steal the wheels off of it. So that's that. Uh, this thing is just weird. It's a little van. It says Culture Coupe on it, which is just, I don't know, weird. A white van. And, uh, yeah, no windows on the side. Culture Coupe. Maisto. It's, it's an odd little van, so I had to have it. And let's see here. The Dodge Viper. I wish it was in a little bit better shape, but it, um, my buddy, that van guy, gave it to me as a little REO cake, a little gift. So I definitely appreciate that, bud. Um, thank you very much. Definitely a Viper I'm missing. Uh, it's in Denver Broncos colors, which is pretty cool, too. Uh, and then this one here, the Pontiac Vibe GT. Again, I own a Pontiac Vibe GT. Mine is a newer model than this. Mine's a 2009, I think. Uh, this one probably is like a 2002. So I think it's a first-gen Vibe. Uh, but really cool to have another one of these this is actually a duplicate this is also a little are okay so i really do appreciate it thank you very much richard on that one um i'm pretty sure it's exactly the same as the one i've got in black yeah it looks like it so awesome thank you so much um let's see here what should we do next let's stick with a like a hot wheel here let's do this this gold metal speed dodge viper blue card this came out in 1992 i believe I had the yellow one with the regular hot ones. I just didn't have the one with gold hot ones, so I had to nab that, add it to the Viper RT-10 collection. Uh, this casting is just kind of nostalgic to me. I, I, I liked Dodge Viper when I was a kid. When it came out, it was like a wild car. I thought it was pretty cool and um, just always wanted to have Hot Wheels of it. And right at the beginning there, they didn't have a Hot Wheel of it for a while, so cool that they now that they ended up getting one and then uh let's see here let's do should we do this pontiac gto let me zoom out for just a second here's this gto hot wheels 100 percent series it's a 66 pontiac gto so first thing we need to do is unbox it i already did cut the tape on the side um so now we just gotta get the plastic thing out i'm not gonna keep any of this packaging uh, this little acrylic case could be good and used for, like, I don't know, custom or something. Uh, but we'll get it out of there, hopefully easily. So I'm getting good at getting these things out of here. Uh, maybe, maybe not. There we go. Uh, so remove that. And then we need to remove it from the base, which I have got a handy-dandy little Phillips screwdriver here. Two screws in the bottom. be able to get those out pretty easily okay and there we go and that's what we are left with is the casting and we just need to get rid of that rubber band that paint destroying rubber band um so let's get rid of that rubber band it's already kind of crumbling it doesn't have a lot of elasticity to it it doesn't matter how lightly you pull it off. And we're golden, man. We are golden. No issues at all. So got lucky on that one. This is a cool casting. 
This is the only example of this that I have in my collection, and I collect GTOs. And I especially like like 65, 66, 65 GTO is probably my favorite. Um, but this is really cool, really, really cool to get. Um, so you got some detail in there, not too much detail. It's chrome. Uh, the tires are rubber. Um, base is metal. Body is metal. Uh, it's got little plastic pieces. You know, this is kind of like a, kind of like an M2 almost. It's how they construct these things, just a little bit with the uh, additional plastic pieces, or kind of like a green light too, I guess. Uh, but really cool to get this GTO. So I'll be looking out for any variations of this. I'll have to look this up and see what there is out there for variations, and I'll probably end up uh, scooping up. You know, well, whenever I see them, if I see them at a good price, I will definitely pick them up. I ended up, I was able to trade for this one at the meet, so that worked out quite nicely. I didn't have to spend any money on it. Really cool. Really, really cool to get that. All right. Next up, let's do, let's do, sticking with Hot Wheels for just a moment. Yet. We'll do this guy, the Super Van. Just open up these quick. These were, I don't know if they really hit stores or if they were easy to find in stores. They haven't shown up in my Walmart at all. I'll open the other one here too. There's the other one. Um, these haven't, the series hasn't shown up in my Walmart at all. Um, and there was only two I wanted. Yes, there is a VW in there, that Volkswagen Deluxe Station Wagon, but that is the one VW Hot Wheels casting I just don't really care for. Um, I don't know why, just the wheels are always too small for it. It looks kind of weird. I mean, if I do see it in the store, maybe I will pick it up, I don't know, but I could have picked it up at the meet and I just didn't. Instead, I just picked up these two, the Dodge A100 and the Super Van. Um, pretty cool to see the Super Van with these wheels and tires on it. It looks actually really cool, those, those wheels and tires. Dodge A100, pretty cool too. We need to see the A100 again in a non-pop pop culture release. Same with this super van, just put it in something else. Please do, okay, if you're listening, Mattel, do a van's car culture, do it. You need five castings to do it with, and yeah, you might have to use the Honda Odyssey again or something, but I think you guys could pull it off. Dodge 77 Dodge van, super van, Dodge A100, um, ooh, the Ford uh, super van, and um yeah and whatever else but th i think they should definitely do a car culture vans and make them total 70s looking vans i think that would sell what do you guys think um so there's that and then last hot wheel of the day is this 1970 ford escort rs 1600 i like this casting a lot so i definitely wanted the super of it it definitely is a step above the regular release of the car so there it is looks very awesome here is the regular to see a side by side i don't like this color blue i uh, would like this matte satin whatever ish finish i'm not a fan of these 50th anniversary wheels either just don't really care for them to be honest um and you know that's that's my gripe with it but uh other than that it looks like the only um uh real difference in tampo action is the th logo oh and the number's different that's interesting that's kind of cool yeah the number's different instead of a 10 it's a 14. i wonder what the significance of that is they both have 50th anniversary logos uh, they both have the Hot Wheels like racing livery. They both have that BF Goodrich uh, tempo on the 50th and the, on the quarter panel. But uh, yeah, different numbers. That's kind of neat. Didn't realize that. So this is cool. So this will join my loose super collection, which is ever growing. I did end up trading one of my loose supers though recently for an ultra red that's going to be coming pretty soon. So stoked about that. But uh, yeah. There is that one, and that's it for Hot Wheels. Um, next up we got, well, basically, we could do this. Let's do uh, this one here. Okay, let's put, we'll, we'll do the two uh, green lights that I have. Actually, let's do the square back first. So this is Club V-Dub Series 7, okay? And they finally now have added a new tooling to Club V-Dub, and that is this 
uh, square bag Volkswagen. Um, some weird paint issues on the top of it. I don't think those will buff out. Um, it does have lens detail in the front. That's pretty awesome. It's got uh, plastic bumpers and it comes with a tow hitch, which is pretty cool, actually, that they just threw a standalone car with a tow hitch, which makes sense that they should do that from time to time, especially since they're releasing like the hitched homes and stuff all separate. Um, so this is a pretty cool little tooling. It's all metal. This is number 1720. Um, can we see the GL tooling number there? 122 is the tooling number. And this one does have an opening part. It is an opening back hatch. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat to see that. I think they did a pretty good job on this, on this tooling, for sure. Yeah, I like it. I'm not going to go collecting them all. This might be the only example of it I ever get, unless they come up with a really cool looking one, but uh, I think it looks okay. Uh, the other cool thing that Greenlight's doing is come with those wheel packs. I'm, I should, If I was into customizing right now, I would be buying wheel packs. Um, you can get them for like seven bucks, I think, and they come with like four sets of wheels. So seven dollars for four sets of wheels that you could use to customize cars with. Uh, that is a deal. That's a real good deal. So... So there's that, and then we've got the 1953 Volkswagen split window Beetle. This one grabbed my attention um, mainly because it's kind of like in a racing kind of livery, kind of rally livery, whatever, or a little racing livery theme with the number 53 on it. And um, this one is the casting that does have opening, two opening features. It opens the hood opens. Uh, to reveal not a spare tire. I wish there was a spare tire in there. That would be cool. But to reveal like a little luggage area. And then the rear part opens. And oftentimes it opens, but it gets stopped by the uh, plastic bumper. But it does have a motor in there. Can't really see it. Um, I like the wheels and tires on this one. This one's a little wonky, but I'm sure it can be fixed. Um, it's the convertible version or the, I guess, the Mooner version or whatever it is. This is number 1236. I think it's pretty cool. You know, it, it's kind of plain looking. A lot of green light stuff is plain looking, though, I've realized. But uh, I like that this has, like, a number on the side and stuff. So this is kind of a cool, it, it's, it's an interesting enough one that I wanted to pick it up. Um, if they keep putting out with just, like, okay, here's another brown VW or whatever, and it's got nothing on it, it looks like a real civilian. They have tons of just standard civilian models of this out that I'm over it. So, really cool to see that. So, there's the two green light. Let's do this real quick. This is a Jada Toys. Jada Toys. This thing is massive, by the way. Um, and Jada has the audacity to really call these things 164 scale and they're definitely at least 155 if not 143rd and uh, there it is there's the base there uh, but detail wise these things are pretty cool and this just looks pretty cool the wheels in, are awesome I think love the wheels on this thing you got good painted detail it's supposed to look like the lights out there for sale, 2000 our best offer, with cracks in the windows and stuff, and I don't know, I think that's cool, what do you guys think about that Jada, I definitely don't buy a lot of Jada, um, but occasionally there is a piece that catches my eye, and if it is, you know, inexpensive, I will pick it up, I've got a, I've got a few Jada vans, I've got, I think I've got another Jada Beetle somewhere over there, and I know I have a Jada, like, VW bus, but I just thought this thing looked neat, and so I picked it up. Yeah, that's just the way it is. All right, next up we got, the rest of this video is going to be Johnny Lightning. And we're going to start with this 1986 Buick Regal T-Type. So we'll start with a new one, Union Facts, just in case you want to take a peek at those facts. Buick Regal T-Type. It's got like that Grand National logo on the front. So let's go ahead and open it up. Love the racing, like, kind of like, you know, whatever. The livery on this is cool. It's kind of like a racing stock car livery-ish. Um, classic stock car livery almost. I don't know, it just looks cool. 
Union 76, get the spirit. Spirit of 76. Quick V6. Really cool. So it is the Grand National tooling. Playing Mantis era 1996. So honestly, I am now looking at this. I'm kind of surprised that they actually got it to look this good. Um, here's the thing. Johnny Lightning toolings are very hit or miss. They just are. They do um, a lot of different G-body toolings. And this is, just happens to be one of them. Um, and this one, I think, is definitely an older one. And it normally does not look at all this good. But I think the way that they chose the wheels for it and set it up. And I think this tooling normally came with, like, plastic tires and stuff. I could be wrong. Um, but if you look on Wyatt's JL Index, which is definitely the source to look at for Johnny Lightning stuff on the Internet. Um, just Google Wyatt Johnny Lightning. Um, you should be able to come up with it. And they have a very extensive, you know, list of all the cars, casting, series, all that stuff. So you really can kind of look at all variations of a certain tooling and this and that and the other thing. Um, I think now looking at this, this is the really old tooling of this. And the fact that they actually got it to look this good, I think is quite the accomplishment. Um, so glad to add this to the collection. I knew there was something different about it when I was looking at it. And it, yeah, it's the older tooling of it. And I know they did some other, uh, Buick Regal T-Tai, well, whatever, G-Body cars. And, um, that, the tooling actually looks a lot better. But this, I don't know, whatever they did with this, they made it, the round two made it look good. So hats off to you guys for doing that. That's pretty cool. And then uh, let's see here. We just got a couple more, a couple more Johnny Lightning. Let's go ahead and open up this van quick. This is from the International Coca Cola series, which I'm a Pepsi fan, so, but it is cool. It comes with a coaster. I think that's a coaster. And there's the van. Eh, it's a van. Kind of added. I'm trying to complete the vans gradually. I don't go nuts for them, I don't overpay for them. I try to get them cheap. This was five dollars, so took it. Um, but that's cool. Coca-Cola van. Nice Dodge. On plastic tires. Metal body, metal base, though. So quite heavy, and all of that. Pretty cool. And then um, let's do let's do these Firebirds next. So I just got two of these. These are from the same series, exact same like uh, decoration decor. And then um, one has plastic tires, is the one that you see right there. And then the other one has not real riders, real wheels. And there's a real wheel variation. Um, the other cool thing, these came with decals. These are actual, I believe, water slide decals. Yeah, these are water slide decals, uh, sponsorship logos. That's a cool ad. That is a really cool ad to get with the diecast car. And that, if I ever get into customizing again, I'll use them. I'm not going to use them on these, obviously. Uh, but I will definitely use these eventually. So that is really cool to get some 164 scale decals in the cars. So the cars are, again, identical with the exception of the wheels and tires. Uh, these would have been the same price on the pegs. I don't know if one is more rare than the other. I'm not really sure how that all worked out. Uh, but it is pretty cool that they did have a real wheel variation and a plastic wheel variation. And just realize this too, the motor is different. So there was an engine variation. I think the real one probably came with this type of engine and the other one came with the other type. I don't think there were, they mixed those up. But I could totally be wrong. And you know what? That motor is metal. That's metal. That's not plastic on either of these. That is a metal added piece. So that is kind of interesting too. I would have thought for sure that would be plastic, but it is not. It is metal. I mean, that is metal. I'm touching it to my nose here. And yeah, it's metal. Awesome, dude. So there is those two. Add those to the Firebird collections. Check them off the list. Yada, yada, yada. And then next up, we got another one with a wheel variation. This is the GTO. So this is the last one we'll look at here. So we got two of them. 
Uh, this is from Johnny Lightning. Uh, oops, sorry. Got that there. Modern Muscle. Ooh, there was a Chevy Impala SS in this one, in this release. Here's the little card that comes with it. The cards are the same for both of them. There's some you can uh, read if you want to. So, 2004 GTO. And here is the plastic tire version. Now, I would have just got the rubber tire version, but uh, they were both there. I just thought I should get them. So the rubber tires in this one look great. They look awesome. I like those. I like those rims and wheels. I like when they use those. They've used them on a few cars. Um, and then there is the plastic tire version, which definitely is not as cool and definitely more cheap looking. Uh, but it is a cool tooling, I, and it's the only version of it I have, so I am happy to get it on both wheel variations. I probably will get, if I see any more of these out anywhere, you know, I'll probably pick them up because it's a Pontiac and, you know, I just kind of gravitate towards Pontiac one because I drive it and the other just because I've liked Firebirds for so long. It's hard not to. But here is that casting. We'll just kind of focus on this one. Metal base, metal body, rubber tires. Uh, I believe that spoiler is an added piece. Yes, it is. And some fair amount of detail all the way around. And not the most attractive color, but still is pretty cool. Like it. Like it a lot. And then lastly, oh yeah, and then this. Here's that sticker from Night Stalker Customs. Check him out. NightStalkerCustoms.com. Chris Walker. Very, 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 very well-known person around the uh, Hot Wheels elite. Um, yeah, so he's a real cool dude. He's a really nice guy, actually. And uh, it's really awesome to have someone like that local to you to, to kind of talk to and whatever, you know. Just kind of neat seeing him and uh, having him at their meets. So that's pretty cool. I don't even think, actually, to be honest with you, a lot of people in the local club even know really who he is and the significance of him, But uh, which is fine. Maybe he enjoys that. But, uh, but yeah, I know, what I know who he is. And uh, really awesome. So cool stuff. All right, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for uh, checking out another weekly episode. I get to go ahead and kind of organize and play with these cars now and figure out where to put them in my mess of a room and you know someday eventually get the room figured out and all of that good stuff but until then we'll just keep making weekly videos so thanks again guys and uh, have a good one